All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. For those of you who have been with us from the beginning, we say yes, thank you for staying tuned. We've had an amazing time. We had topics that we talked about. We had uh, the amazing uh, Ezugu Chukudi join us for the newspaper review. And we just finished a very, very insightful conversation with Salem King, uh, a content creator. We give us a lot of good insights on how you can create content and how you can be uh, add value to the world via social media. And that was a very, very strong conversation. Now, we're moving on to the next very interesting uh, interview we're going to be having and I'm sure you guys are waiting to uh, to be part of this because hey I am waiting that's great you know I'm with so much eager so much vibe so much uh, because uh, the questions uh, I, I don't think I know how to speak enough languages yet in my life you're not right? anyone not a lot of us know how to speak a lot of languages okay that's good that's good <laughs> <laughs> so this woman um, did a video last week sometime last week and we saw the video on several social media platforms of course we were intrigued at the fact that you could speak a lot of foreign language. Yes. Her name is Rukayat Mansa, and she is a clinical psychologist in training. She's also a polyglot, meaning that she speaks several languages. And she's a YouTuber, a podcaster, and today all the way from the United Arab Emirates, we're joined by Rukayat Mansa. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so Amazing. much for joining us. Amazing. So I think we should start first by asking you how many languages you speak and how many more languages you aspire to speak. <laughs> okay, so I currently speak six languages, and um, I want to speak as many as possible. Right now, my goal is 10 languages by 2030. So, 10 yeah. languages by 2030. Whoa. Okay. Yes. All right. It's a bit of a stretch, I know. Wow. I know. Okay. <laughs> I, I, if I decide to... Speak 10 languages, I'll probably be thinking of 2050 or 2060. 10 languages by 2030 know. means she will have had extra four languages to have to, to be learned in the next 10 years. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Before we actually get into the conversation proper with Rukaya, let's look at the video that went viral, the video that made us say we had to have her on the Good Morning Niger show where she spoke six languages. Take a look. So I saw this going around and I thought I'd give it a try because it seemed like fun and also because I needed any reason at all to wear something other than pajamas. So thank you. So say ganiyo ina house is Allah. Di ka kiman dali ya kinji imba akaba. Chinga ina wasa diki. Wasa ni kita kaski. Tamam tuk chuko nishim. Aslında var ya kafamdan şu anda her şey çıktı. Çünkü tür arkadaşlarım benimle Türkçe konuşmak istemiyorlar. Hablecim sana diyorum. Unutursam görürsün. Tamam mı? İtak. Kısa jileniyo. Seçaz paruski ya da varı huje. Çanına astanla yazık at. İya uje zabe varı. Si oşta bu uçula. Zat vago da. İda. Kıstate ya paprasilo oyu kız delat eta challenge sa mnoy. No ana at kazalız. और मुझे हिंदी भी बोलनी आती है जी टीवी की वजह से असल में हमारे घर में पिछले पंद्रह साल से सब लोग बस जी टीवी देख रहे हैं इसीलिए मुझे सीखना पड़ा मगर अब सब कुछ भूल चुकी हूँ और मेरे ग्रामर भी बहुत खराब है मगर कोई बात नहीं अच्छा इजे हंगो मल लो साशर हंगो मर रनिंग मैन थे मैंने भेज गुस्त रखेस्ता で、チェルチョンにメンバーが、ちょんごごっぱよ。インセゴ、チャルセンギョソ。くため、母をパランパンソッパ。お、イドルンハルマリピリオプチョ。テシンチョンジョデ。チグマン、ロネメンなん
Okay, so here's the story behind each each language has its own story. Okay. Um, from a very young age, I've sort of been interested in learning languages, and you know how like uh, in Nigerian homes we're all about ZTV and Bollywood, uh -huh. and so I I sort of just learned from there, so I could gossip with my sister in the car. Like it was it, it sort of was like our inside language. Okay. So that was for Hindi. And because, like, it goes on for, like, years, right? So mm -hmm. you keep watching and watching until at some point the, you turn the vocabulary into actual speech. I, I, I don't know. I can't really explain it. Like, in... <laughs> it's weird, but... Yeah. So, wait, you, you learned the Hindi from watching Bollywood movies, TV. You were watching it. Yeah, and... TV. Ooh, yes, same goes thing. for Korean as well. Um, because I watch a lot of Korean variety shows and like TV shows, so you want to be like on the inside. So that's basically you want to know what's going on in people's minds. So yeah. I'm I'm just inherently curious by nature. So that's what filled it. So who else in your family understands these foreign languages like you? I heard you talking about learning Hindi so you could gossip with your sister. Does she also understand languages like you? Yeah, uh, yes, my sister does speak uh, Hindi, but the thing is, over the years, one thing I will say is you lose languages if you don't use them. So it's sort of like become a bit shabby over the years. But yeah, um, Hindi and my family is sort of like multilingual, but mm -hmm. not like, you know, the way you're imagining it. <laughs> <laughs> Already thinking, ah, okay, yeah. one from here. No, but yeah, yeah. it's like, it's, I keep doing this thing where even to my siblings, I speak like random languages, like when I've, I'm, I'm accepted them. So I go like, cause now Pearson, and they're like, what is she saying? And so like, they're just used to it at this point. And my siblings as well want to learn as many languages as they can. So, okay, yeah. so you had no professional training for any of the languages? Jeez. Oh, no, no, some of them I did. Uh, Turkish, I went to school in Turkey. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And for, for Korean, okay, from the movie, movie Russian. Russian. Yeah, Korea. Oh, Russian as well. I did take classes when I went to Turkey, so there's that as well. So Turkish and Russian are the only, like, um, languages that I took professionally. Yeah. So maybe I'd be more grammatically correct in them. The others, I sort of learned from listening. So I might say something that doesn't make sense to a native speaker. Who knows? Okay, there's one language I want to ask if you know how to speak. You so speak Pidgin. Yes, ma'am. You don't speak pigeon, Abi. <laughs> uh, more relate to a pigeon. More know as your your pigeon, your pigeon tastes strong. Cause I want you and tell me your pigeon. How you day waiting the apple for that side? How your um, side? Oh yeah, let's go. Respond. Oh my God. Give me pigeon. <laughs> you see, say me as a yeah. Maybe here, let's go. <laughs> I mean, they're fine here, but you know, with this coronavirus, it's hard. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well you done. try, you, you try, try, you try, you try. Well done. <laughs> so, uh, look, I have many people that are very interested in learning foreign languages. And now with the COVID-19 situation upon us, there are many people who don't yes. have the opportunity to go to work as they usually would. Mm -hmm. So some people have more time on their hands with remote work available yes. and more access to the internet. What would be some of the tips that you would give to new language learners? For example, I'd really, really love to perfect learning French, but it's very, very shallow. And what are some of the things you would say that one should learn first when learning a new language? A lot of us like to learn the abuse first. <laughs> no, a lot of them, because I'm not learning. Only, you know, so um, what are some of the things we should learn first? Wow. <laughs> okay, so my language learning tip, for me, I try to make it as fun as possible. So I don't like to learn something all like super formally. So I try to incorporate, even if I'm using a book to study, I try to incorporate like um, stuff like TV shows or music and stuff like that to mm -hmm. sort of keep it interesting. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to laugh through the learning process. So mm -hmm. um, that's basically my tips. Find good shows in the language that you want to learn. Those mm -hmm. really help. Because once you're like interested enough in the show, you want to learn. For example, Chinese. I said I'd learn Chinese because I watched the show. My friend was like, calm down, focus on one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and now, this is a concern about uh, languages. A lot of times when people want to learn a, a specific language and they probably meet someone who originally speaks that language, they're sometimes yes. a bit shy to try because they feel that... 
if I say it now, I might sound off, I might make a mistake, I might not pronounce a word correctly. And uh, sometimes the people who even know how to speak these languages originally might even talk you down and say, ah, that's not how we speak it. Why are you trying to spoil our language? What do you, what would you say? How was it for you? I'm sure you must have met some, you know, yeah. people that way uh, that told you that. How did you cope? People who tell me that, you know, that's not the right way, but inherently I have this sense of like, oh my God, they're probably laughing at me. Mm -hmm. So that it makes me shy, but I try to like put myself out there from time to time. Hmm. So recently I met a few uh, Korean girls and, you know, I just, I, I try to make it natural. Yeah. So they happen to need help. So I'm like, what did it play And then it just it goes from there and they're like, oh, and then they, they're shocked because yeah. they don't expect you to speak it. And so you try to like form as many sentences in your head before you speak to them, right? So mm -hmm. you have like some like, oh, I'm natural at this. But in the <laughs> end, it, it, show, <laughs> it shows that you're not, but that's fine, you know? Mm. All right, so Rokai, when you did the one minute video, it wasn't one minute, it was a little over a minute, joining the Polygon yeah. Challenge, and the video went viral. Mm. First, did you think it was going to go viral? And secondly, what was the reaction like for you, the acceptance rate? Well, I, I really just needed something to do in quarantine. As I said, I needed a reason to get out of my pajamas because <laughs> I've been wearing them for months. <laughs> so I decided, like, I might as well join this thing and see how it goes. And then all of a sudden, I did not really expect the, for it to be picked up the way it did. So yeah. it was sort of like strange for me yeah amazing so and uh, now that uh, you've given yourself probably uh uh at, you know a target of 10 minimum of 10 languages in 2030 ah. yes. so which means uh would you have like a, a schedule out okay i'm going to be learning which other languages would you want to add to this first of all with this you have six now right which other ones would you want to learn if you look at it i actually um have it right here on my <laughs> desk and so I want to learn how to properly, and when learning languages, for me, it's about speaking as fluently as possible. Yes. So to come off as almost a natural speaker, mm -hmm. that's my goal. Mm -hmm. And so I want to add Chinese, I want to add Mongolian, mm -hmm. I want to add Spanish, mm -hmm. and I want to add Arabic. I'm Arabic. currently working on my Arabic, which mm -hmm. is really shoddy, but it's okay. It's, I'll get there. I'm sure that in the yeah. next one year, seeing as you're also in the UAE, your Arabic should be smooth by the time you pay more attention to it. Now, having learned I all these don't. languages, what is the end goal for you? Do you want to probably start a YouTube channel? I know you, are, you also recently started YouTube, but are you looking to, there are people who learn these things because they're looking to make business with it. What is the end goal for you? Are you just doing this for fun? Uh, well, I don't know. After the whole polyglot challenge, then I was like, well, I'm, I'm locked inside, so I might as well use my time wisely. Mm -hmm. So I started a podcast with one of my friends. It's uh, called The Black Academy. And I also am starting a YouTube channel with another one of my friends. Um, that's going to be about languages, psychology, just like everything. Mm -hmm. I really want to help people because I got a lot of messages telling me like, oh my God, how? And I'm like, okay, wait, I'll put out tips. And so that's basically where I'm going to go from here. Try to help people because I feel as though we need more like positive stuff in the world. I we mean, do. If, if I can help in a little bit. Yeah, that's my goal. Wow. So, so someone like me now that cannot uh, speak all these languages. <laughs> what advice would you give me? How do I start? Where do I begin from? You know, because growing up, I, I grew up learning English as my first language. I grew up learning English. Then as we grew, we enter street, pidgin English, go enter inside. A bit of Yoruba <laughs> join inside. But those are basically the ones I can, I can try to speak, you know. But it actually, I actually, you know, enjoy to see people who speak uh, a lot of languages like this. You know, most especially, I love Hausa language. I wish I could Aosa speak Hausa. is such a beautiful language. I wish I could My speak Hausa. It is so beautiful. Well, there is God. So for someone like me on the street who just wants to, you know, start up this process, how do you think is the best way to go about it? Do I have to, um, can I, must I go and enroll for a professional course or can I just start the way you started by watching movies and 
Do you, wait, in your watching movie process, do you write the words down or do you pause it, rewind, say it again, rewind? How do you, how do you catch up with the TV um, learning process that you said you did? Okay, here's what happens. When you watch something, mm -hmm. you tend to catch a few phrases that are commonly used. And so I think what my brain does is I automatically, the words I know, for example, if you know the word for love in any language, Yes. and someone says, I will always love you, mm -hmm. then you can figure out that, you know, they just said, um, oh, or they say, I will always love you till the end of time. Mm -hmm. So you know love, and I will always. Yes. And then the next time you hear someone say something like, oh, time is just the construct. Then, then you, you pick out the time. word for time. Mm. Yeah, and then you keep sort of building up until you have this type of, vocabulary that sort of makes sense mm. that's pretty much what i do but it takes years it's it is not like <laughs> just like for example for korean i watched stuff for years and for two years all i could say was and then, wow. <laughs> what does that mean it means really and i said that for everything people around me hated me because <laughs> anytime they did something i'd be like Chincha? Chincha. <laughs> We've learned something here as well. Ching -cha. Ching -cha. Yeah, and then after that, it sort of like builds up. The more time you spend on it, the mm. more results you get. Mm. And so it's not like a one-year thing or a two-year thing. I mean, if you're like really good, then maybe one, two years. But I've been watching Korean stuff since 2013. Mm -hmm. I've been watching um, uh, ZTV and Bollywood since I was a kid, like five mm. years old. So these are things that you sort of just like grow up with. But you can also start at any point. So mm. I don't want to discourage anyone and be like, oh, no, it's too late for me. That's not the case. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like right after you, this interview, I am going start. to go and start working on my classes as well. I feel so motivated and so talented. You can totally do it. Yeah. There's, there's, there's another concern about you speaking uh -huh. um, so much of uh, a language. Because here, yeah, this is what I mean. Uh, there are people who speak in Nigeria who speak so much Yoruba or so much Igbo and they, and uh, to speak English, they now have problems pronouncing certain words or there's an accent over it. They, you know, it, it, if one language affects the other, uh, hasn't that been a concern yeah. for you in any way, seeing that you want to, you speak different languages from different continents and it, they, you know, did one doesn't affect the other. Isn't that a concern? Okay. I, I'm, when it comes to accents, I try to use listening to just try as hard as I can and practice to be able to emulate the exact sounds that people make. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when it comes to like the the language itself, I just I just sort of go for it. And if I sound weird, people sometimes point it out and be like, "Oh, you said it this way." I'm like, "Well, I'll I'll, I'll learn." Mm -hmm. So. That's just it. You just keep practicing until you can sound as native as possible in any language you speak. Okay, we're going to okay, ask you to mic. choose a language of your choice and sign out this interview. But before that, give us a glimpse into the life of Rukaya. Rukaya, who is not the polyglot. What are you up to? What, what are you doing? Who are you? Okay, the, the, yeah, the normal person is just like a, a psychologist to be. I'm training to be a clinical psychologist. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I do like books a lot. Oh, mm. reading. People read. Good for you. Yeah, Very interesting. So I, I like to read. I like to travel. And most importantly, you know, psychology. Because we need more positive. Okay, so this is where we wrap up the conversation. <laughs> We've been speaking with Rukaya Mansa, who is a clinical psychologist in training. She is also a polyglot, currently speaks six languages and looks forward to speaking 10 languages by 2030. That means she has four more languages to learn. Um, Chinese, um, hold on, I'll try to remember. Chinese, Mongolian, right? Arabic? Yeah. And what's the fourth one? I've forgotten. I've forgotten the fourth Spanish. one. Spanish. French. <laughs> Oh, okay. Spanish. No, oh, Spanish. French. Spanish. French is too hard. French, French is hard. French is too hard. Oh, Are yes. you serious? I told you. Oh, 
I've already started oh French God. and I'm enjoying it. No, but I'm not discouraging French because <laughs> I cannot do the accent. The, oh, my God. The ah, like I tried. France. I tried. Les huiles bon, le tout. Le France. Le Hongar. Le bleu. Le bleu. Le bleu. Okay, so you're going to have to speak a language for us. Choose any language of your choice. Yes. Um, you're going to say to the viewers, thank you for watching Good Morning Niger Show. You don't have to translate Good Morning Nigeria to it in any language. You can just call it Good Morning Nigeria. Okay. Tell them your name. Tell them what you do. You know, or say whatever you want to say, then translate it to English for us. Tell us the language. Say yeah. whatever you oh like to say. Oh, my God. This is going to be a process in my head because I have to think it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I switch between languages? And okay, that's okay. That's sort of... fine. Feel free. Okay. Feel free. Okay. Uh, Good morning, Nigeria. Uh, 많이 사랑해 줘서 정말로 감사합니다. 그리고 앞으로도 잘 부탁 잘 부탁드립니다. 네. 아, 진짜, 아 진짜 좀 헷갈려서 어떡하지? 다음 쉼데 난 아, Good morning night show. 아, 야근. 아, 좀 좋게 좋게 다음 반 비디오로 부탁합니다. 음. <웃음> Thank you. That's it. That's, that's it. Mm. Oh, God. Please, eh? it just sounds good. That is good. so amazing. Whatever you said was It nice. was horrible. I messed it up. Any Turkish speaker would be like, what did she just say? Because we don't care. Know. It sounded good in our ears, and that's all that matters. So what languages did you speak, and what did you say? I think I had I spoke Korean, Korean and Turkish. Yeah, Korean yeah, and, and Turkish. Turkish. Yeah, Turkish. Because I thought I was most uh, fluent at them, but it turns out not the case. No. So yeah, don't don't let the camera fool you people. No, it's totally <laughs> fine. In 2030, we will come and do a check again to see so have you uh, learned, you the, learned the remaining four, four? languages. Mm -hmm. So we wish ah, you... better get on it. <laughs> we wish you all the best. And I, since you're starting with Arabic, I'll start by saying Sabah <laughs> Eh? Sabah <laughs> Please tell him I said something correct and I wasn't joking. What did you say? Ask yeah, he, say he, he said good morning. Say it again. Is that good morning? <laughs> is that? Olive don't disgrace us like this. Olive has disgraced us. Like what is it? No. See, see, I don't like you. See. Yalla, yalla, yalla, yalla, yalla, yalla. Thank yalla. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Rukaya, for joining us. It we was amazing. Had an amazing yes, conversation. Um, and we wish you all the best in your quest to learn more languages and even as you wrap up your training as a clinical psychologist all the best with that as well <laughs> amazing thank you for joining okay. us okay well, i'm thinking about my life winch huh and no i'm thinking of the language i'm i'm, I'm deciding french french yeah, no, no not french Ch chinese chinese is a mandarin i want to do a bit of mandarin ni hao okay ni hao. Um, for me it ni hao is french. how are you i will say for Hello. example je m'appelle Bonjour, je m'appelle Olive. J'habite à Lagos. Je suis un journaliste avec Wazobia TV. Uh, au revoir. À bientôt. Uh -huh. Then me, I will say, <laughs> me, I will say, when I welcome to the Good Morning Niger show, my name is Nigeria, aka Fresh, and hey, a Niger boy, hey, I be. Forget hey, all that loose hey. S, who's when they talk. Hey, I'm not hey. Yeah, the year word. <laughs> jo, jo, jo. We will go on a break. It's time for us to take a look at um, the YPO isolation center mm -hmm. that was set up in collaboration with Lagos State. And after that, we're going to work out. Yes, sir. Burn some calories. You know, you need to get the, the exercises to help your brain work well so that when you're learning the language, it's winter. <laughs>